Oh yeah, unit testing. We forgot about uh, unit testing from the MVP episode. Let's continue with that. Fire up the Android Studio with MVP example project. Add the following dependency to the Gradle. We might have to get rid of any Android dependency classes from our presenter implementation. I'm using plain old Java is empty method and let's create a sign in presenter test class. We need to acknowledge this with run with annotation and mark it out to JUnit runner class. And using a mock annotation, we are mocking our sign in view and sign in implementation, sign in presenter implementation classes. And we are using at before to load the sign in presentation, sign in presenter implementation before every test. It, it loads this implementation before every test. So we can call our test whatever we want to comprehensively. So I am calling this method as should fail to sign in if no user name should fail to sign in if no username throws exception and we will pass presenter implementation and sign in method if it is empty it should fire up uh, a sign in validation error so let's see whether oh it fails cause we are not using sign in errors we are using sign in validation error so we can complicate this by passing a number of times so so two times we are passing the information then it should pass if it is it's failing because we are the input is expected three times but we have passed two parameters next figure let's find out the um, should sign in when user when we pass all the data so this is another use case to test so now we will pass the right information to sign in and the test should pass and i hope you all have learned how does this unit testing works without any dependency injections in the coming episodes we will learn with dependency injections as well thank you for watching please do like and comment on my videos and do subscribe to my channel thank you